Welcome to Family Feud! Here is your host, Johnny DeRue! How y'all doing tonight? Boy, am I so excited to be here today. Here, let's meet our contestants. Miss B, do you want to introduce your team? Team teachers, Miss Burgess, Mrs. Mustard, Mr. Witt, and Coach Savage! Woo! Hey, and the team students too, all right, who do we got here? All right, we got team students with Zach, we got Kelsey, Adam, and your boy Chase. Yeah! All righty, here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna ask some questions and then uh, we'll see who can get them right. We'll start first with the teachers. Okay, Miss Burgess, name something a customer might do to annoy a waitress. Snap their fingers at them. Like, g waiter! Mrs. Mustard, name something a customer might do to annoy a waitress. Ask for water after she's just come back to the table. <laughs> and brought you every th all Ask your stuff. Ask for water. Ah, all right, all right. That's one X. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Wick, name something a customer might do to annoy a waiter or waitress. Pick their nose. <laughs> Pick the waiter's nose? That might be. Not on the board, I'm afraid. Oh. All right, Coach Chavitz, you have two strikes. Can you save your team? Yes, I can. Name something a customer might do to annoy a waiter or waitress. Send back their order. Oh. For 40 points to the teacher's team. All right, Miss Burgess. You know the question. I know. Name something customer might do to annoy a waiter or waitress. Um, large group asking for a split check. Oh, yeah! Oh, that's here! That's here! That's here! That's going to be there! That's going to be there! It's not! Time for the students! Can they steal? All right. Who do we got? Zach, can you steal? Name something a customer might do to annoy a waiter or waitress. Leave a small tip. Oh. Yeah! The students win the first round. And I'm pretty sure that makes 80 points for students. And time for round two. Here we go. Let's go. All right. This one we're going to start with the students. Zach, are you ready? I think I am. All righty. Name something you would hate to find under your bed. Uh, bugs. Mm. Good, one. Good answer. Oh, yeah. Good answer. Them crawling under you. Yeah. Spider for 10 points. It counts. It counts. Spiders and arachnid, not yeah. a bug. <laughs> Technically. He pulled it off not already. A bug. Let me see the counts. I'm sorry, but whatever the host says goes, Miss B. Alrighty. Kelsey, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Johnny. <laughs> That's amazing. Alright, name something you would hate to find under your bed. Um, remnants of past snack binges. <laughs> <laughs> Show us the money. Alright, Kelsey for 12 points. Well done, well done. Students have zero X's. Down to Adam and Sally. Adam, name something you would hate to find under your bed. I'm gonna go with Ahmed Ali. <laughs> <laughs> something, someone. <laughs> yeah. A person for three points! Miss Sally, alright! Chase, teammates aren't letting you down. Right. Chase, name something you would hate to find under your bed. Well, Johnny, uh, I would hate to find the Nightman. <laughs> Good answer! Good answer! It's the Nightman. He already said it. What'd you say? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. A person was already taken. Zach, you know the question. Name something you wouldn't want to find under your bed. Oh, uh... Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry! He could not answer in time. Kelsey, you just got two strikes. Tell me, what would you not want to find under your bed? Um, a small rodent or animal of any sort. <laughs> yeah. Kelsey for eight points. All right. We're rolling here. We still got three answers up on the board. Adam, what would you not want to find under your bed? A monster. Yeah. For 43 points. All right. Chase. <laughs> Give me the answer. Smelly socks. 
That is not right. We're swinging it over to the teachers for a big steal. Can they steal? Miss B. Name something you wouldn't want to find under your bed. A snake. For 16 points, teachers with the steal. All right, that makes teachers with 96 points to the students, 80. That means teachers, you are on to the fast money round. Yeah. All right. Woo. All right, we are in the fast money round with Coach Shavich here. Coach Shavich, are you ready? I am. Positive thoughts. All right, you have here 30 seconds to answer seven questions on the board. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Name an occupation a bad driver should avoid. Bus driver. Name something specific people make reservations for. Restaurant. Name something that a woman never forgets about her fiancé's marriage proposal. How it was done. Name something that burglars check to see if a family is out of town. Uh, whether or not they have a dog. Name something people can do to corn. Cook it. Uh, let's check the answers. Name an occupation a bad driver should avoid. Bus driver. Survey set. Yeah. For 28 yeah. points. Yeah. All right. Good start, good start. Name something specific people make reservations for. A restaurant. Survey set. 35 points for the top answer. All right. Name something that a woman never forgets about her fiance's marriage proposal. How it was done. Survey set. Yeah. Number one yeah. answer for 43 Woo. points. Yeah. Wow. All right. Name something that burglars check to see if a family is out of town. I said a dog. Is their dog home? Survey set. Oh, zero yeah. points. It's a We'll see. Let's right. see this question. Name something people can do to corn. Cook it. Survey set. Six points. All right. That makes a total of 78 plus 28 plus 6, which is 84 plus 28. <laughs> 112 points. Wow. All right. Let's go. All right, Miss B. All right. Believe it or not, Coach Savage got you 112 Yay, points. Girls, hey, girls. Hey, yeah. yeah. All right, you only need 88 points. 88 points to get to 200. Yes. Where you win a grand prize of to be determined. Oh. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? Yeah. I'm gonna ask you five questions. You have 30 seconds. If you repeat, you're gonna hear the sound. Okay. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready, Johnny. I'm ready. Let's go. Name an occupation a bad driver should avoid. Taxi driver. Name something specific people make reservations for. Hotels. Name something that a woman never forgets about her fiancé's marriage proposal. Uh, where it happened. Name something that burglars check to see if a family is out of town. Mailbox. Name something people can do to corn. Grill it. Yeah! <laughs> All right. All right. Name an occupation a bad driver should avoid. Taxi cab driver. Survey set. Yeah, yeah. For 21 Woo! points, taxi driver. That makes us at 131. Name something specific people make reservations for. Hotel. Survey set. 30 yeah. points. Oh, we are under 50 points to go. We're under 40 points to go. <laughs> Name something that a woman never forgets about her fiance's marriage proposal. Where he asked. Survey set. Yeah! For 31 points. We are at 81 points. We need seven I points this one. to hit 200. How many? Okay. All right. Pretty sure. Okay. Are you, are you questioning seven me? Seven makes 100? Makes 88. Because she got 112. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. Ah, Name something I that. Latin for a reason, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Name something that burglars check to see if a family is out of town. Mailbox. Survey set. Oh yeah. yeah! The number one answer! 33 points! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! All right. Congratulations, teachers. You have won the grand prize of bragging rights. Oh!